Hello everyone, Raza here. In this video, I will show you how to generate documents, PDF or Word from a template with dynamic data coming from your data source. This will also include tables within the document. So let's check it out in action. Our goal is to generate documents, Word, PDF, with tabular data coming from our data source. A SharePoint list, a Dataverse table. I have a list that tracks project information, and I have a second list that has task information, wherein each task is connected to the project via a lookup column experience. First step is to create a template in Microsoft Word. I am signed into Word with my M365 account. Here, I'll search for a template related to project report. I'll go ahead and pick this one, which says project status report, and click create. I'll keep my template simple. I'll go and remove the stop section project summary as the report date, project name. Instead of prepared by, I'll change this to project manager. Since in my SharePoint list, I'm tracking who the project manager is. Status summary, I'll change this to the project name is currently in project status. You can also add formatting. Project Overview, I'll rename this to Tasks Overview. Task would be the title of the task. I'll add status, the due date, and I have priority. I'll go and remove the last column. I'll go ahead and remove the remaining sections. And at the end, I'll say Notes. So I've got my template ready, but I need to insert dynamic elements into my template. And for that, I will leverage the developer tab. Report date. I'll select the text date. Enter plain text. Go to properties and give it a unique title. Project name. I'll do the same. Project Manager, I'll do the same. Status Summary, this text, I'll make it plain text, Properties, and the Project Status, plain text, and give it a title. Now for Tasks Overview, I'm trying to create a repeating table. First thing I'll do is I'll enter some sample text here, like task name, this will be the status, due date, and priority. And I'll make each of these dynamic. This is task name, task status, task due date, and task priority. Now the other rows, I'll go ahead and delete them. And I will go ahead and select the complete first row and go and insert a repeating section content control. Make sure you go and select this repeating section, go to properties, and I will call this my tasks table. I'll click OK. And for notes, added a plain text control and set its property title. That completes my template. I'll go ahead and save this to my OneDrive and I will call this project report template. That's gone ahead and uploaded the file to my OneDrive. Power Automate. I'll head over to create and start 
an instant cloud flow that triggers for a selected item in a SharePoint list. I'll click create. This flow, I will give it the name generate project report. The flow will trigger for a selected item in my SharePoint site for my projects list. I can also take inputs from the user. Let's go ahead and take an input of type text. These would be the notes that I would like to add in my notes section. Next step, I will use the action get item to get the details of that selected item. Connect to my SharePoint site, connect to my projects list. The ID will come from the dynamic content ID from my trigger action. Next, I need to get the tasks. So I'll leverage the action get items from SharePoint. Connect to my SharePoint site, connect to my tasks list. And here I would want to filter the data to only show the tasks where project lookup is filtered to show the data for the selected project. Here I'll add a filter query. My lookup column has the internal name project lookup. I'm going to connect to the title of the project. I'll check to see if this is equal to the title dynamic content coming from the get item action. This will have the name of the project. I can rename this action to get tasks. Next step, I'll search for word. We have the word online business connector. Here, I will use the action to populate a Microsoft Word template. The location of this template is in my OneDrive. The document library is OneDrive. And my file was called project report template. And I'll put the extension of my file. It will try to find that file in the root of my OneDrive folder which it has found. And now it will ask me to go and populate the dynamic content. Project manager, name, status, date, and again, project name. All of this will come from my projects table. Project manager. I'll search for project manager. This is a person type column. I'll want to show the display name of the project manager. Project name, this will come from the title column, get item action. Project status, status is a choice column. So I'll pick status value. Project date, this is the date of the report. So I'll want to put today's date and time. And I would like to format that date as well. So I'll use the expression format date time UTC now, which gets me the current date and time. And I would like to format this in month, day and year format. Project name, title, tasks is an array. I'll just put some sample values like name, status, date and priority. And I will go to switch to input entire array. Right after get tasks, I'll go and insert an action. Go to data operation and pick the select data operation. From expects an array of data, list of items, dynamic content called value coming from the get tasks action. I'll select this. Next, we need to define the mapping. 
I'll keep the mapping consistent with what my tasks table repeating section expects. Task name, I'll enter the value later. Task status, task due date, and task priority. Now all I have to do is set the values. Task name will come from the title. Task status, I have a column called task status. I'll pick value, due date, and priority. Once again, a choice column. For tasks table, I will clear and go and pick the output of the select action, dynamic content. We have notes. This will be the notes input that we added in the trigger action. So this goes and populates the word template. Now all we have to do is go ahead and create a file with the document data that this action has generated. I'll go and create the file in OneDrive. I'll just save it at the root. The name of the file, I'll try and make this unique. I'll put the title of the project, underscore. I'll put the current date and time, dot docx. And the file content would be the dynamic content Microsoft Word document coming from the populated Microsoft Word template action. If you want a PDF version of that, go and add a new step. Once again, select the Microsoft Word Online Business Connector. We have an option here, convert Word document to PDF. Location, OneDrive, Library, OneDrive, and the file, I'll pick the dynamic content path. I'll send it as an email to switch to advanced mode, search for user email, the trigger action for a selected item knows which user has triggered the flow. So I'll simply send an email to that user. Subject, I'll say project report for and put the title of the project. In the body, I'll say, please find attached the report. And in attachments, here I'll put the name of the attachment. I'll put the project name dot PDF. Extension of the file is very important. Attachment content would be PDF document coming from the convert word document to PDF action. And that completes my flow. I'll go ahead and save. The flow is saved. Now this flow, the owner of the flow is me as I've built this flow. If you want to give your users of that SharePoint list access to run this flow, run only users, go to edit, go to SharePoint, pick the SharePoint site and the list. I'll click add. We can also define the connections. The word action, the OneDrive action, I want to simply run that under my own account because I have access to the template and it's pointing to my OneDrive. I'll click save. I'm signed in as a user, Sarah, who has access to this list. Sarah can select a specific item, go to automate, this will list out any flows that are associated with this list that Sarah has access to run. Generate project report was our flow. I'll click this. I'll click continue. I'll add my note. Run the flow. Sarah was the one who triggered the flow. Here is the email that Sarah has received, which has the report for the project Contoso. Select the attachment. Here is the PDF, the report date. That's today's date, the name of the project, project manager, the status of the project is in progress. Here is a list 
of all the tasks that are related to the project Contoso. And here is the notes. Here I have a template called expense report template. I've mapped my content controls. Expenses, this is my repeating section content control. In Dataverse, I have two tables that are related with each other. An expenses table and for an expense, there can be multiple line items. I have a canvas power app where the user can go fill in the expense details and add line items for an expense. Here is an expense called Contoso customer meeting. I'll click submit for approval. This will go and trigger the workflow process. Each expense is related to a cost center. And in the cost center is where I've defined my approvers dynamically. Reza is the approver for the cost center Microsoft. Here is the expense approval task. I can directly approve or reject this expense. I'll say approved. Email states your expense request has been approved. And here is the attached PDF includes all the data dynamically coming from my Dataverse tables. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.